Hey beauties, how are you doing today? I am doing really good. I filmed this look, how I got here um, for you, and this is just like the little intro. So anyway, I did film a get ready with me, and I did this makeup look. I tried some stuff that I hadn't tried before, and I am really loving the BH Cosmetic palette. I cannot say enough good things about it. The colors are amazing. Jared picked this up for me. I'm not even sure where he purchased it, but it is the Foil Eyes 2 28 Color Eyeshadow Palette. I believe it was like with a Christmas um, push. Yeah. Okay, so these are the colors. And I used these two colors today in my look. Um, you can't really tell on camera, but this is pinky color, and this is like a white color. It's a white shimmer. Maybe they're both pinky. I think they might both be pinky. This is just a lighter pinky, and this is a darker pinky. Let me see. So can you tell? <laughs> I'm doing a horrible job, but on my eyes, you can tell the difference. These shadows are very um, pigmented. There is a little bit of fallout when you apply them, but not any worse than, say, Urban Decay. Um, I really like this palette. <laughs> BH Cosmetics, I didn't know you were so good. Um, yeah, a little hidden gem there. So I am excited that I got that and that I was able to use it and show it to you today. And yeah, so um, I'll take my glasses off. So I may have like little indentions behind my glasses, but this is the look. I don't have the really bright light on either. Oh, I'm failing at blogging. <sighs> So this is the look. I didn't do anything really any special or any look or really. I just wanted a dark eye so I did purple. I think it looks pretty decent with my glasses. And yeah, so I hope that you're having a great week. So I'm going to go now. Just um, as always, remember, be your own beautiful and like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, so I'm going to film a uh, get ready with me today. Um, I'm getting ready to do some vlogs. So I thought I would film my makeup, um, me getting ready to do that. Um, yeah, so I am just letting my nails dry right now. Uh, they were desperately in need of a painting. Let's see. I used the instant dry. I am going on this kick where I just don't have time to do multiple coats of things and everything like that. And this is like no matter what fingernail polish I use, it comes off within two to three days anyway. Um, I have found that this lasts pretty long for me, like a good three four days before it starts chipping badly. Um, so yeah, and it just takes a little bit of time to put on and a little bit of time to take off. I found with the Sally Hansen gel nail polishes that it is really, really hard to get off. So therefore, I end up dreading taking it off and I leave it on my nails way past time that any nail polish should stay on your nails. So I want to have nice nails all the time, so I just am going back to my favorite Sally Hansen um, Instant Dry. And it really does work pretty darn good. This is in 193 a Slick Slate. And it's just a very like neutral grayish color. I really like it. So yeah, I'm thinking it's good to go now. So yeah, let's get going. I have nothing on my face at this moment. 
So I am just going to find what I need. Ugh, I'm getting so low on it. Okay. So I'm going to remove my glasses, which now I can't see anything. Okay. So the first thing I'm using is oil-free face Facial moisturizer with sunscreen, and it's the knockoff Target brand for Neutrogena. I use the Neutrogena mostly, but when I went to buy this, God knows how long ago, um, I was trying to save money. So I just do one pump. I firmly believe in moisturizer. I have been using this particular Neutrogena moisturizer since I was probably 26, 27. I go back and forth between this and Clinique. Um, I love Step 3 Clinique. But the Neutrogena is a nice... And it has a sunblock in it, so I always wear it during the summer, no matter what. Um, the Clinique, I will wear it during the winter more, but um, I like to use also the Clinique at night. So this is more of a daytime. So now I'm going to take my, my MAC uh, Prep and Prime. This is the one that was like the pink glow. I just spray that all over my face. And now I'm going to let that set while I do my eyebrows. So I pulled out a new product for me. I got it. I don't know where I got this actually. I don't know when I got it. But it is the It Brow um, Universal Eyebrow. It has a spoolie on one side and then the slant on the other. And I'm just going to pull this mirror a little bit closer so I can see. And just go in and do this. I've been really trying to upkeep my eyebrows. And I feel like they look a lot better than they have in some times in my life. Honestly, I don't have any particular... I just try to do like strokes to fill in to look like hairs. I don't really worry about staying in the line or anything too much. I just go up here and even this out. And then just kind of shade it in. And I just use my finger to, you know, smudge it up. So I wonder how everybody's winter is going. We finally got snow, but other than just snow, it has been cold. And when I say cold, I'm talking two degree cold. Like who even? People that say they like winter, I'm just like, Okay. I see you. You must be a very, very warm-blooded person. Because winter just makes me want to stay inside, in bed, in covers. I've got a little bit of a cold. I never went into a full-fledged cold, but it, um, it's just been hanging on. I have a little bit of a 
a wheeze and a sniffle. So I apologize for any heavy breathing or wheezing or sniffles that annoy you. I know that it annoys me. Now normally I would be a little bit darker on my eyebrows. This shades not exactly point on. This is more of a summer shade for me, I guess. That I would say. I feel like it's very important to say you need to blend out those lines that you draw. And you can just do that with the brush, the spoolie. I'm just going to say that's good enough. Um, so then I go in with my Maybelline Precise. I love this. And I honestly don't know if they still make it because it is a pain in the ass to find. I remember one time I was putting my makeup on at my niece's house and the little one she's like uh what are you doing <laughs> I was like oh I'm trying to be a clown and if you know me you wouldn't you would know how ridiculous that is considering I'm scared to death of clowns but I do feel like sometimes as women when we're putting on our makeup we do resemble the clown a little bit so I just need to um, get my spoolie. I just have one in my makeup brushes. And just, you know, make sure the, make sure there's no, um, what am I trying to say? No white in your brow. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so I'm good for this part. Now I will go in with my Shape Tape from Tarte, and this is in Shade Light. I have some acne. I have an age spot. And like, okay. So I have my Beauty Blender over here to the side. I just give it a little spritz with this. This hurts. Uh, honestly, don't even want to put makeup on it, but I can't exactly film with this big red thing on my eyes. I've been only using the Glam Glow Moisture Tint and Moisturizer the last few days. And my beauty blender smells like it. I love that flavor or smell, whatever you want to scent. I guess it's the correct word for the Glam Glow, which is hella expensive. Boy, I looked up the prices. And I'm like, right, yeah, it's a great product, but. So my face is super, super dry. So I like have been depending on this heavily lately to just like keep reapplying like moisture and also to just um, help the makeup as it goes on in layers. Um, okay, so I do that and let this like sit or whatever. I had to check my nails. So, I am going to use two palettes that I have only used one time before. I was, Jer Bear surprised me the other day and brought me the BH Cosmetics Foil Eyes 
28 color eyeshadow palette. And I saw a lot of people on YouTube saying how BH Cosmetics was very underestimated and how it's a really good brand. So I am excited to try it out more. I did already use this once and I really, 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 really loved it. So I am going to try that out today. And then also I am going to go in with the Oz palette from uh, Urban Decay. It is a little bit older. Um, these are the colors. I was gifted this and you know what I did this by my cousin and um, it was her palette and you know what it's like Urban Decay is one of my favorite brands I never say that I don't know why I never say that because I have more Urban Decay than anything and um, I always leave them out when I'm saying who my favorite brands are but um, I was excited to get this just to have it. But then I got it and the kit, it was just like barely used. So it's like, I'm going to find a way to use this. And actually, the shades are very pretty still. They're very beautiful. And yeah, I might actually use that purple. I am intrigued to see what that purple looks like on me. Sometimes I think, oh, you can pull something off. And then sometimes I'm like, girl, no. But I'm told purple looks good with, um, with blue eyes. So I have been doing something new a little bit. I've been putting a little bit of this. This is my Age Rewind in the Brightener Illuminator. Um, where's my, and I just use that to like soothe the skin and make it all one color, brighten my eyeballs up a little bit. Can you hear that? My eye, I say it farts all the time. It's very like. Juicy, I guess you should say. Okay. And that's done. Oh man, my skin is so dry. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so I am going to go in with just a very light shade. I think I'm going to use this pinky tone. Uh, well, I'm going to go in with this high what just the colors on here so i'm going to go ahead and use this shade all over my lid and then go in and put this in like my crease so let's do that okay so here we go what do i think of it oh i almost touched the wrong one wow so much shimmer I really like this. Wow. Impressive BH Cosmetics. I have been missing out. Wow. I will have to say that I am way impressed. So I'm just going to use the same brush since it's a very light shade. And I'm just going to go right here with the pinky color. Just to change it up a little bit. going to grab a different brush now I don't actually know what brush I want to use for this hmm. 
I want to keep it in a very specific place. <sighs> uh, so hard to decide. I think I'm going to go with this one. This is like a no-name brush. I don't know. My sister-in-law gave it to me for Christmas a couple years ago. So I'm just going to put the purple shade on my lid. And, you know, some Urban Decay has a lot of fallout, so I don't know what to expect from this one. We'll just have to see. Okay, I'm glad I did put that, um pink color in so I can use that as the like blending area I should have used a flatter brush if I wanted to cap it more with thighs. I really like this purple color I love a dark eye I just don't wear them a lot but I'm falling more and more in love with color and becoming more um, what should I say, are less scared of using color. So uh, well, that's what we've got so far. I'm just going to clean my brush off a little bit. I have some wipes here beside me because okay, I like this brush. I do. But I am going to use my this little flat. I like it to blend sometimes. I don't know if I'm going to like it for this. But let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, that looks... Wow. I really like that. It blended up so good. So I'm just going to go back in, actually. I'm going to just do this a little bit. Go back in. Really nice. I am the least graceful person in the world. I want to be graceful. I really, really want to be graceful. But I am so clumsy and such a like, well, for lack of better example, just like my grandpa used to call me when I was little, I'm like a bull in a china cabinet. I bring destruction wherever I go. Wow, I really, really like this combination. So I'm just cleaning off my blending brush a little bit. So I'm going to go back in with that pinky color from BH Cosmetics and just like blend right on my crease. I'm going to go into the corner a little bit and then just blend it out. Blend it up. It's like a halo. It's so pretty. So pretty. Same thing. I really, 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 really like this. So I'm just going to go in with my waterline.
So you want to know a secret? I hate the color purple. But this, I could get used to. I really, really could. I'm going to go in with my curlers. Just curl my nail, my, curl my eyelashes. Getting on it, but I'm not. I'm just going to go in with my Roller Lash Benefit Mascara. Super curling and lifting mascara. So yeah, I usually wear waterproof. But I've been wanting to just try this on its own to see what the transfer is like. Face makeup right fast. This I don't like to spend a lot of time on. And I have no idea why I just put that on my face. I never put that on first. Oh well. I'll just have an extra layer today. Okay, so I'm going to go back in with my prep and prime. Because like I said, my face, I'm using IT Cosmetics CC Cream. SPF 50 plus UVA, UVB is color correcting full coverage cream. It is all I use now. They are my faithful. I mean, I'll try other things, don't get me wrong. Uh, but when it comes down to it, when I know I need to get ready and not mess around, this is what I'm gonna grab. Because this is what works, this is what goes on nicely. And I just totally, ugh, I hate when that happens. All right. Problem averted. See, that's a normal person thing to do. You get a little too zealous and you put your makeup in the wrong place. And I swear I've been going around looking like an old lady because my makeup sits on my black hairline. I need to watch tricks to keep that from happening. Cause no matter how hard I try, it always does. I'm gonna show you how to fix that little thing in just a second. Once I get it all messed with enough. flip my mirror to make sure it's all whatnot, even and whatnot. Makeup because I hate thinking that my face is not even. It'll do. So I'm going to go back in with this. Because I was the genius that put it on too soon. And this is a brightener. Highlighter. Illuminator. And I like to literally just put it Everywhere I like my um my highlight to go. So I like to bring it up the side of my eye. Now yes, you heard it correctly. I'm gonna go back in with that. Okay, so my blending brush. I'm just gonna go and grab a little bit of the color and then just bring it back up. Same over here. Just make sure it's like 
I like a little bit of a V point. So I think it needs a little bit more of the pink added to the outside. So I'm just gonna go in with the color. Just a little dab here and there. Cause I am not afraid of the shimmer. As you will see. I'm using an elf stiffle brush. I just, I use this for blush people. It's what I like, don't judge me. So I'm using Love Flush Long Lasting 16 Hour Blush Justify My Love is the color. And it just freckled all over me. So I'm just putting some on the brush, blowing it because this is super bright. That's okay, because I've got a dark eye, right? Again. I think this is probably a better shade for summer. Like, if you're not wanting to wear a lot of makeup, but you're just wanting to look alive and awake and everything i think this is a really good shade for summertime so this is my wet and wild contour uh it's using this um echo tools brush that is for this i'm going in with the dark shade blowing it out and i'm just going here i'm going here Try to keep it in a straight line. And then up here. This is basically the three that everybody does all the time. I'm just not calling it that. Okay. So when you got that done, I, where's my big brush? use this one this is my elf foundation brush but I like to blend with it I like to do little circles and just bring it all around This light one which I do a lot and I just kind of like put it under my eye a little bit I'm kind of like doing the baking effect and I know I'm using my highlight brush right now but it was there okay so I'm done with that now I am going to try a new highlighter it's the essence pure nude I love essence is that stupid to say that I don't know anyway so I just put it on my brush I'm not blowing it off because I want all the sparkle okay not much Let's see. Let's just go all in with it. I'm just not getting what I like to get from this. Okay, this is disappointing essence. I need sparkle in my life. It is a really pretty subdued highlight. I mean, it's like making it. Okay, well, I'm just, okay, I'm very under impressed with that. So I'm going to go in with my Anastasia, and I'm going to go in with Luna, because she's my favorite color. Look at that. Look at the difference. 
I still put a ton on even though it's like really good coverage. I just love to sparkle. Spectra in purple because that's what's on my eyes. And I'm gonna go right on my eye bone, eyebrow bone. Go in a little bit. So yeah. I'm gonna blow that out. Put a little bit of the Luna on my chin and basically everywhere. And I just do this. And voila, my face is done. I cover it. Why do I always say it's done and then I look and I'm like, oh, you left something out. So I take my eyebrow mascara stuff. It's from Essence. This is one of the products that I live and breathe and dive by. Essence really did a good job with this. I also always use their eyebrow pencil. Like I even have it out here in case I didn't like the it one at all. It's right here. Love this brush so much. So now I'm just gonna go back in with this mascara that I use my Patrick Star She Better Work. I'm gonna use the lip pencil that goes with it and edge to edge. And then the Sexy Mother Pucker Candy Queen. <laughs> Sorry for the long pause there. It's a little bit hard to... Go in the right direction with that. That's what I was saying. And there you go. That is my makeup. That is how I do my makeup. And yeah. Till next time, beauties. Love ya.